Hello, once get here, we're playing Pokemon Scarlet. The next goal to go is to defeat one of the first team star. It's gonna be this one, the Dark Cruiser, that means mainly Dark type Pokemon. And this area is mainly full of level 30 Pokemons. And then afterwards you have the Water Gym, but first this one. Oh, we may check out the first Titan Pokemon. I'm not sure yet. Make sure to explore every tower you can find. Like the one in the distance. In this tower I found the TM Electro Ball on the first floor and on the top floor there is a Gimme Gowl. So let's see if we can catch it. So I found one already that was at level 20. So I guess this is one of the first ones you can find at level 10. It will only evolve if you find almost 1000 gold coins. Like for example we have one this I found at 20. So I tried to just catch all the gimme girls. So their only attacks they know is Astonish and Tackle. And nothing else. Fletchling, that's a flying type. And when he evolves, he will be able to get the, the fire type as well. When you see the yellow around the text, that means you haven't fought with that NPC yet. Or talked to that person yet, for certain events. Shepard is a ghost type. Yeah, definitely if you want to earn money fast, go first to the town in area 3, defeat 5 trainers, so be at least around level 30. Then you will get the amulet coin and the more, always more than 5 trainers in the area. Potion type, that's some um, grass type. Uh, Lily something. And I don't know which Pokemon game it first came. I think one of the newer ones. There is a grass type with a potion type. Terra foam. So potion is weak against ground type.
So now it's in grass type. That was quick. Now so you get all the items as well. So the tower raids are quite handy if you want. Pokemons with a specific tower type. That's a potion type. The Pokemon is from the Pune Nova region. So Pokemon black and white. And the other ones the black and white too. There's a normal type. You have an Aloha form that's purple. You have a color version that's that's brown with black. I think you have three versions, right? Yeah, the normal one. The a lower one and the color one. Pineco <laughs> was I think a bug type and it evolves in Fortress and it was from the Hoenn region if I remember it correctly Nimbo is a bug type. So we're on our way towards here. Flying Titan. Oh yeah, there. 
So most of the time, the first time when you meet up with the people or have uh, a picnic outside, you can restore your health as well as getting picnic items. So a sunstone you can use to evolve a sun cannon into a sun flora. So let's climb the mountain. Let's see this Titan Pokemon. That's ingress type. Or book type or both. It's a good thing you back up the mountain. You're able to find wild Pichu, a Pichu, and Rods, and Curlia. So most of them you are able to see in the wild. The difference is just like how strong they are. Oh. Titan Pokemon, a flying type. Ah, uh, it's a giant version of the stalk, because you can find that one in different places. I think it's a flying type or maybe. The Titan Bombeer is eating something. There's Alvin. You made it. You managed to get to the Titan Pokemon. So that's the open sky Titan. Wait. Is this Titan who's been dropping all those boulders? I was lucky enough to be able to sneak up here because it has all its attention on you. It looks like it's trying to power itself up, like with some kind of mystical meal power. So we better g be ready to go all out. If the rest lies. Not. Trying to drop rocks and folks is dangerous. Really wonder if we can catch Titan Pokemon. Oh. 
Hmm. You might have been able to. I don't know. Yes, way to go. Looks like we don't have to worry about any more borders falling on us now. There has to be more of the herbal mystica it ate in here. Let's hurry and find them before the titan comes back. Watch your step, it's pretty dark. Hmm. No way. There it is. This is one of the Herba Mystica. It's exactly how it looked in the book. You and Alvin found a bitter Herba. Mystica. We actually found one. It's all thanks to you. Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? Bitter herbal mystica grates for your circulation. It really gets the blood flowing. And it warms you right up. Nice and toasty. Even boosting the immune system. Or it says. Now if I can just get a wind to eat some. Alright, now it's my turn to show what I can. You're about to get a taste of my cooking. Cooking, fighting noses. <laughs> An oven original sandwich packed full of the herbs. And I'll even give you a badge, you know, as a thank you for taking on that Titan Pokemon. I call it a Titan badge. I made it myself using a replica of the gym badges, see? That looks a bit questionable. The sandwich. What's up with the thing? It just comes out of its ball on its own whenever it wants. I went all through all the trouble of making that for you. You just give it away. I hope you realize that there was all there was, so no, there's none left for you. Now you're making me feel like I'm a selfish jerk here. Here you can have half of mine, but you better savor every last bite. Hmm? You already ate the whole thing? Coridon will be able to move across the water now. Wait. Is it me or has this thing sort of powered up somehow? I can't believe it. The power of these herbs is really worth guarding. If they had that big effect on your Pokemon, then I bet... I bet it's coming super handy for the treasure on the assignment we've got. Yeah. That's what I bet. Well, you both filled up your bellies with some of my legendary sandwiches. Guess it's time to tidy up everything. Don't worry about helping. After battling the Titan, you earned a break. Just leave it all to me. Do it be much obliged if you get a start of searching out the remaining four Herba Mystica for us. So the herbs are in a way for the Coridon to be able to move across the sky, land, and all this stuff. Really own you. Okay, the coast is clear. You can come out now. Oh. 
Oh, we don't get to see the Pokemon. Hello, this is Sado. I detect the Coridon has regained some of its original power. While riding upon it, it seems you should now be able to move across water. Cool. I hope you will continue to explore Padilla with Coridon as you have done here. Your route is not fixed, but open before you. Seek out your path using your map and the tools you have at hand. Whenever you find your curiosity peaked, you should go and explore at your heart desire. All the experience will help you grow in some way, great or small. Go forward on your journey and take good care of Coridon for me. Okay, let's try it out. So that means we cannot catch. Can we go another way? There was also some item in the cave. Oh, okay. A one way street. Let's try it out on the water. Oh, the Pokemon. Already got one of those. Um, Psychic Pokemon, I guess. Okay, so that's Coridon and the first Titan Pokemon, the flying type. So thank you all for watching, wish you all well, I'll see you in the next video.